Mr. Peter Kleist, please report to the Central Information Desk. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, you called Peter Kleist? Ah, yes. Uh, this gentleman here is. Ah, uh, Peter. I'm Carl Luhmann. Uncle Carl. I really didn't expect you to meet me personally. A nephew I'd never seen. My curiosity got the better of me. Any more bags? Oh, no, just these. I oh, but you... <laughs> Welcome to Austria, Peter. And how's my sister? Oh, Mother's fine. She sends you all her best. She wrote saying that you are awarded your master's degree. We are all very proud. Education is a long and honored tradition in our family. Yeah, Uncle, but I've had enough of it for a while. Then you're not going on for your doctorate degree? Well, I'm going on for some rest. Some relaxation, hmm. some fun. Back to the earth, back to my roots. So that's why you've come here to Austria, hmm? We all want to know where we come from, hmm. and from whom. I'm particularly fascinated by that ghoulish baron on my father's side. Hmm. Otto von Kleist. The baron's name is not exactly popular around these parts. For the villagers, he was not a fictional character, but real. And his victims were real people. Even now, they all go out of their way to avoid going to the castle when it's night. I heard the castle's being made into a hotel. Yes, that's so. But a hotel for foreigners, not for the locals. How do you feel about it? We pass it along the way. Would you like to take a look? Yeah. Between us, we might even conjure up an ancestral ghost or two. What are they going to call the hotel? Von Kleist Horror House? <laughs> no. But the castle has always been called Schloss des Teufels. Schloss what? Schloss des Teufels. Castle of the Devils. That's not too inviting either, is it? It's good for tourists. <laughs> There's your castle. Schloss des Teufels. Could we go up, do you think? Yes. We have a little time. Did they put up those partitions yet? Eva, please, please. No, 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 no. And I say you cannot make these changes in the cellar. Well, I'm you're just a child, a practice child, but I don't like your threatening me. I am not threatening you, Herr Dortmund. It's only that the law says you cannot make those Herr changes Dortmund? in the Eva, good day. How are you? May I, may I present my nephew, Peter Kleist, from America? Herr Dortmund? It's a pleasure. Fräulein, uh, nice to meet you. Eva is one of my prize architectural students. Represents me here on the Commission for the Preservation of National Monuments. Kleist. Peter Kleist. Peter is a direct descendant of Baron von Kleist. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Several great grandfathers back, of course. Baron Blood, they call him. Well, I hope you haven't inherited his disposition. One never knows. They say one of his favorite pastimes was to impale anyone who incurred his displeasure on stakes. Planting their bodies up on this tower as a warning to others. Hmm, sweet guy. Well, I imagine if the Baron was still around to see what Herr Dortmund was doing to his castle, he might uh, get the same idea again. Hey, that might be a good gimmick to attract people to the castle again. Oh, sure, <laughs> sure. Herr Dortmund likes the idea. He would stick all of womanhood up there. And now, if you excuse me, I think I'd better go and check what his workers are destroying in this part of the castle. Hmm? Go on, busybody. Go ahead and spy on me. <laughs> ah, she can be so exasperating at times.
Will you please close that door? Why do you keep opening it all the time? Uh, to see you come in. Really, no. Intruders. Fritz, come back here. <laughs> I wonder how many victims the Baron tortured with these trinkets. Well, are you all right now? I'm sorry, I know. Uh, Peter, if you think you can take it and tear yourself away for the time being, my wife has been waiting to give you a sample of some truly Austrian home cooking. Eva, how about you joining us? Not you, buddy. Some more cheesecake, Peter. Oh, no, thank you. If I eat any more, I'll get as fat as the old Baron. The Baron was a tall man, but he wasn't fat. Well, listen to her now. How would you know? The child is right. And Kleist was tall and thin. She must have seen a painting of him somewhere. No, I didn't. <laughs> well then, child, how do you know what he looked like? I've seen him at the castle. Gretchen, I don't like you telling stories like that. But I have seen him, sometimes on my way home from school. I can see him looking out from the castle wall, just like the nice wait said. Ah, so that explains it. She's been hearing too many stories about Elizabeth Holly. Oh, then you two know about her. When the Baron had her burned to death, uh... Carl, uh, such talk at the dinner table. Uh, Martha's right, I'm sorry. Come, Gretchen, it's time to go to bed. Excuse us. Peter? Of course. Eva? Good night, Mrs. Homer. Good night. Good night, Jake. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Oh, I'm glad the name of Elizabeth Holly came up. There's something I want to show you. Oh, but before I show you this, suppose you tell me what you know about Elizabeth Holly. As legend has it, she was a witch put at the stake by the Baron because he, he was afraid of her. Is that all? Well, no. Before she died, she put a curse on him, promising he would suffer a hundred times as much as any of his victims, and, uh, he did die a horrible death. They tortured him, then burned him in his own chambers. Fortunately for the castle, a storm extinguished the fire before it spread too far. The Baron's body was never found. But Elizabeth Holly left an incantation that would bring him back, uh, to suffer again and again. This is it. Looks authentic enough. Hmm. König Sato Holmat. Where did you get this? Up at my grandfather's place. I was just a kid then, but I never threw it away. Since I was coming here to Austria, I thought I'd bring it along and scare up a little family history while I was at it. Hmm. Very interesting. Seems authentically old. Worth trying out, or too dangerous? We live in an enlightened age, Peter. Where science not only reveals the old mysteries as mere superstitions, but little by little discovers the true mysteries of the universe. However, I would not play with the occult if I were you. One's obsession with it could be the real danger. Well, it's getting late, and I still have my lectures to prepare for tomorrow. No, no, don't get up. I'll get Ava home safely. No, no, that won't be necessary, because I live right close by. Well, then, stay as long as you like. 
unless you have to rush off somewhere. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, good night, then. Uh, good night. Thanks, Uncle. Good night, Doctor. Oh, may I? Thank you. Seven X G. No, 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 no. Not here. Don't read it now. Well, you don't really believe in that, do you? Do you still have the keys to the castle? Look, as a trustee of the government... Yeah, I listen to this for a second. They say the only place the incantation uh, will work is in the room where the Baron was killed. Well, that should be the burned room, then. Well, it's starting to make sense now. Let's go to the castle, huh? Oh, come on, Peter. You want me to run off in the middle of the night as your guide? Have no fear, mein Fräulein. If the ancient Baron should wake up on the wrong side of the bed, I'll be there to protect you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that mean yes or no? That only means that I wonder with whom I would be safer. With the Baron's ghost or with you? Oh, good. Then that means yes. Are you always so sure of yourself? Huh? No. <laughs> That's good. Let's go. <laughs> After you, Fräulein. second incantation will put the old boy back where he came from. I mean, if we don't dig him, we'll ditch him. Come on. The incantation. Whoa. The parchment. Oh, I have it here. What's that? What's the other? Uh, it's an original plan of the castle. Oh, <gasps> oh the incantation of Elizabeth Holly. Kunik. Sato. No, no, no. Oh. Don't kid around. Why not? Because you'll invoke Elizabeth Hawley's anger. Only if we do it solemnly shall the bells toll announcing the Baron's oh. spirit. How nice. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Kunik Sator Olmar. I beseech thee, O Elizabeth Hawley, reach the fiery depths of hell and bring forth the evil spirit of Baron Otto von Kleist to this, 
the chamber of his tortured death. Wow. What is he waiting for? Maybe he doesn't like us, huh? Well, that, that, that must be the bell of the church of San Stefan. Huh? It's midnight, but the bell only rang twice. Twice? Two o'clock. Two o'clock was the hour that Van Kleist was killed. Peter. Peter, if the curse really worked, then if he really were to come back, he'd be a monster. The way he was. Yeah, I know. Killed and but with you're... a skull all hey. crushed, tortured, burned. Peter, he'd be a monster. I want to go, please. I, but look, I, I don't, don't. Don't worry. Come on. Sator Homa, change thy heart and take him away. Homat Sator Kunik, take him away to the darkest depths and break thy incantation. I bet it was Fritz with one of his pranks. Sixteen, huh? Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Herr Dorfman. Is morning. Fritz around? Fritz? No, I fired him yesterday. Then he wasn't here last night. No, at least he shouldn't have been. Why do you ask? Uh, Herr Dortmund, would you mind if I brought him um, to the castle? Herr Dortmund, bitte. Just a moment. I'll be with you in a second. I'd like to show you around myself if I weren't so busy. Maybe you'll come up with some more gimmicks to attract American tourists. Well, what is it? Ava, let's go back in there. To the burnt room again. Along one of these walls, there's got to be a hidden passage. I was up half the night studying this thing. And the plan shows a corridor leading into another room. What are you doing? Here, hold this a second. Why? Yeah, just hold it, okay? What do you want to do? Break the whole castle down? There's got to be another room here.
is probably a painting of von Kleist. But why those scratches? Or maybe one of his enemies who couldn't get at the Baron himself let his hatred out in the painting. There's something about his eyes. I'd swear they were following me. He's looking at me. Ava, let's try the incantation again. What for? I must find out what happened last night. But you told me nothing happened. I know I did, but I want to make sure. Oh, Peter, it was at night and spooky and frightening, but today everything seems so unreal. Does it? What if the ghost of Elizabeth Holly is stronger than the centuries? What if it could bring the Baron back? Oh, come on. You don't believe that yourself. It's not likely, but I must find out. What are you thinking? That to come face to face with my ancestor of the 16th century, monster or not, is an experience I wouldn't want to pass up. better now? Yes, thank you. I, I felt chills going right through me. You uh, ready to start? Mm. Kunik Sator Holmat, I command you, return wherever you may be. Kunik Sator Holmat, I call the body and soul of Otto von Kleist. Peter, no. No, let's stop it while we can. Peter, let's stop it, please. Peter, hurry, it will be too late. I can't understand it. It's impossible. Peter, there's something horrible and 
and terrifying out there, and we have released it. Is there someone at the door? Never mind, I'll go. Yes? Who is it? Come in, man. Hurry, hurry. I haven't seen such a gale in years. Lose your lights out. down, please. Apply the disinfectant and stop the bleeding. Now we've got to get you to an hospital. Listen, it's a miracle if you're alive. It's my duty as a doctor to call an ambulance. You need to be in a hospital. <clears throat> Hello, uh, Dr. Werner Hesse here. Uh, Schloss des Teufels, yeah. I, I, I need an ambulance. Yeah, it's urgent. I... Oh! 
Uncle Carl! So, big gates, Peter. Not bad. Good morning. Good morning, morning Eva. You have a few minutes you can spare us? Well, I have a class, but I guess it can wait, huh? Well, you remember our talking about Elizabeth Hawley and the curse she put on Baron von Kleist? Yes. Well, last night at the castle, I invoked the curse. Did you bring the Baron back from his grave? Oh, no, it's true, Professor. According to the curse, the Baron was supposed to come back with blood flowing from his wounds. And last night, Professor, there was blood under the door. In the door. A big, heavy oak door gave away like, like a supernatural force was trying to crash through it. A spooky castle, a dark night, a witch's curse. They, it was more they than can that. play strange tricks in our imagination. And last night, a doctor was killed. Yes, I know. I read about it in the paper. You see, Professor, if the Baron should have come back, he would have needed medical attention, and he could have killed the doctor, no? If you really think the Baron is here, why don't you send him back? But, but we can't. The parchment blew into the fire and burned.
Good morning. Good morning. Ava called and told me about Dortmund. Yeah. Strange. Why would a man like that want to commit suicide? He just wasn't the type, always active, thinking of money and hustling and doing things. Mm, just... I don't think it was suicide. You see, the noose was tied by an expert and there were signs of a struggle, which leads us to suppose that someone else was present. But if, if it wasn't suicide, then who? I mean... Who killed him? Why would anyone want to kill him? Fritz. Fritz? He was discharged just recently and was seen in this area last night. We have yet to check it out, but we're looking for him. For 90,000 shillings. And now we come to the next item, lot number 15, consisting of 20 large screen color television sets, all brand new, all still created. We start the opening bid with 135,000 shillings. Who's going to up that bid? Now, ladies and gentlemen, 145,000. Are you bidding there, sir? 155,000. 155,000, 165,000, 175,000 shillings. Where is 175,000? 175,000 once, 175,000 twice, 175,000 for the third. Sold at 175. And now, the next and last item of this auction. Ladies and gentlemen, the castle and its ground. How much do you think the castle will go for? I'm not sure. I would say, in American money, at least six hundred thousand dollars. You're including the dungeon. Yeah, at least. For this bid, we have asked you to submit sealed bids prior to the start of this auction. Now I'm going to announce the result of these bids. Right. Thank you. I beg your attention, ladies and gentlemen. The winning bid was submitted by Mr. Alfred Becker. Ah, Alfred Becker. Is Mr. Alfred Becker in the audience? Yes, I am. My sincerest congratulations, Mr. Becker. Congratulations. The castle could not have been placed in better hands. Thank you. Do you know him, Doctor? No. But maybe we should introduce ourselves. Hmm? Why not? The documents will be here shortly. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I'm Dr. Hummel. This is Eva Arnold and my nephew, Peter Kleist. How do you do, sir? We'd all like to offer our congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Peter Kleist. Yes. Baron Otto von Kleist was an ancestor of mine. It might interest you to know, Doctor, that Mr. Becker intends to live in this castle and plans to restore it to its original condition. Oh, really? Yes. That's Ava's special field. Oh. Perhaps she could be of some help. I'm sure she could. When you have a moment, young lady, I would be delighted if you would pay me a visit and share some of your knowledge with me. Uh, well, thank you very much. Excuse me, Mr. Becker. If you'll be good enough to sign this document, you shall take legal title to the castle. Uh, good day, Mr. Becker. Nice to have met you. Fräulein, don't forget. I shall be expecting you.
You, you frightened me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help but admire that beautiful tapestry. Where did you find it? Oh, in a little antique shop. It was a stroke of pure luck. They didn't even know it belonged to the castle. Of course it does. How clever of you to find it. Oh, thank you. Um, Rebecca, there's something I would like to tell you. Oh, go ahead, dear. You see, it seems that a curse has been put on Baron von Kleist by a witch. Now she vowed that he would suffer a horrible death and be returned only to go through all the agonies again. <laughs> witch? You, you believe this? Well, but well, let me finish, please. You see, when Peter first arrived, and we invoked the curse, that is, we said the words that would bring the Baron back to life. And? I don't know. So many terrible things have happened here after that, that I... I know it all sounds foolish, but... Let me be the judge of that, my dear. Go ahead. Horrible things have happened since then. A doctor was killed in his home. Her Dortmund was murdered right here in, in this castle. And now Fritz is missing. Fritz? Oh, he's the caretaker here in the castle. If only we could send him back. Send him back? Well, yes, you see, the parchment with Elizabeth Hollis' curse also contains an invocation to send the Baron back. Where is the parchment now? Well, uh, that is the trouble. It uh, burned in the fireplace. What a pity. But there is another way. I just can't remember it. Another way? There must be another way. You know, I remember when I was a child, there were other similar legends. But now I search and search and search my mind, and I just don't, don't seem to remember it. And yet... Ava. Yes, Rebecca. Please, enough of that, Ava. Oh, yes, sir. Would you drape the tapestry over the railing? I'd like to see how it looks hanging. Certainly. Like this? Ava, is something wrong? I know it is that. It is just that for a, for a moment I thought that. Uh, Why not put it in your workroom until we decide where to hang it? Yes, sir. After which you'd better get some rest, don't you think? Yes. Forgive me. Certainly, my dear. Certainly.
Eva! Where are you? No! No! Ava, where are you? No! Answer me! Ava! She's in trouble, Peter. Go help her. Hurry. Hurry. Where is she? Ah, up in the tower. Ava. Ava. Peter. Oh, Peter. Peter, please yes. take me away from here. Yes, I never want to come back here again. All right. Please, please never. All right, darling. Peter, please. No matter, darling, what Becker or anyone else says, I... Look, I don't care about anybody else. I believe you. The only one who matters is you. I'd still feel better if you'd stay at my uncle's place for a few days. Oh, no, I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I won't be alone there. There are lots of students who stay over the weekend. Listen, I'll, I'll give you my car, and then you pick me up in the morning, okay? A kiss first. No, no, no. Don't get out. And, uh, well, thank you for, for everything.
happened? It was the monster. The Baron. It was the Baron. The Baron. I know it was. No, no. He's still out there. Ava, you must get a hold of yourself. It was the monster. It was. It was. No, don't, Ava. Don't. May we? Oh, come in, come in. How are you? Fine, fine. Just printing out a few assignments. If you're busy, we can... No, I'm almost finished. <laughs> As you know, part of my work here at the university involves research in extrasensory perception. Each card shows either a, a circle, uh, a line, or a, a rectangle. My average score is one out... Of three. And yeah, that's exactly what chance predicts. And does uh, head shrinking or these equations have anything to do with your calling about uh, about what happened last night? Just my way of leading up to the subject. Fact is, I haven't been thinking of anything else. Then you do believe that I saw someone or something in my room and on the streets? I'm convinced that you did. Do you believe it was the Baron? I believe that it could have been. Do you realize what that means? A human spirit brought back to life after centuries. It makes the greatest discovery look trivial by comparison. Try to remember. What did he look like? Oh, it was just horrible. I really don't want to talk about it, Peter, if you don't mind. I don't blame you. You really had a terrifying experience. If it was the Baron, then both your lives are in danger. You will try again. But why? Because he fears you will send him back. But we can't. The part from with Elizabeth Hollis curse burned. It is gone. There may be still another way. You know of one? About a year ago, we were interviewing subjects for ESP right here in this classroom. For the most part, we came up with results that were about average. But with one very notable exception, a woman named Christina Hoffman, a former teacher. Did you test her with these, Uncle Carl? Yes. And by many other methods. The results were astounding, far surpassing random or chance probabilities. But what makes you think that she can help us? Because Christina Hoffman claims, and I believe her, that she is not only clairvoyant, but a medium between the living and the dead. Why did you come here? I feel... I feel something. No, I don't want to talk to you. Christina, you are the only one who may be able to help us. No. No. It may be too late for all of us. So you've come to talk to me about the Baron. Remarkable. It was a foolish thing you did. And a dangerous thing. He will destroy you, if he can. But why? Oh. Only those present the day the spell was invoked have the power to eliminate it. You mean... Ava and I. Thus, the Baron has only you two to fear. Christina, can you help us? No, I cannot. I must not. But the parchment with Elizabeth Hollis' invocation burned, and with it, the order to send him back. Please, 
Please, you're the only one who can help us. Please. I told you I can do nothing. Elizabeth Holly invoked the curse. Only she can tell you its secret. But she's dead. <laughs> All mortals are such fools. Once you killed innocent witches. And now you bring murderers back to life. It was my ancestor who burned her at the stake. I can make amends with your help. This once belonged to Elizabeth Hawley. Tonight we will go to the place where she was burned at the stake. Elizabeth, these two who brought back your murderer would speak with you. The will of thy tortured spirit has been placed in these unknowing hands. Come speak to us, Elizabeth. Come before the rock that shall forever mark the place of thy death. Come, Elizabeth. Because now, because of you, I have made, I him, have suffer made him suffer again. again. And, and for, for that, that I, am I mean dead. your debt. Oh. I will tell you this. You, you, you have the power, the power to, to crush him. To make him suffer again. The agonies of hell. Use it! Use it! Before it's too late! Ah! 
death awaits. Death. 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 In you he sees Elizabeth Holly. You cannot escape him, Christina. You cannot escape him. I appreciate your coming here today, and I promise I will not keep you long. Fräulein Arnold, can't you tell me something more about the man you saw in your room the other night? No, Inspector, I cannot. I hardly saw his face. I only saw his hands, and they were crushed and burned and bloody. It was a nightmare, Inspector. Inspector, is it really necessary to make Ava go through this again? I'm afraid so. You see, the murderer of Dortmund is still at large. And Fritz? My men are still looking for him. Inspector, what if we told you that we had another theory as to what happened to Herr Dortmund and uh, possibly Fritz as well? I'd be most interested. You see, Inspector, it involves a curse. A curse put on Baron von Kleist 300 years ago. Von Kleist? Baron blood? Exactly. 300 years ago? Yes, and we believe the curse has brought him back to life. Oh, really? And that he killed Dortmund, and attacked Ava in the castle, and then he tried to kill her. Yes, yes, Inspector, I'm certain of it. Fräulein. We are well aware of your interest in historical archives. Mr. Kleist, we are aware also of your emotional involvement in this uh, particular castle. You are both young, impressionable. But you, Herr Professor, you said yourself there had been other disappearances. A fisherman, a villager on his way home, and then that peddler, all gone without a trace. Yes. And, of course, all in the vicinity of the castle. Hmm? I'm afraid your theories, sir, are not of much use to me. Is that all, Inspector? For the moment, yes. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance. I swear, I just don't understand that, Inspector. Four people disappeared. He doesn't care. And all in the vicinity of the castle. I don't get it. My God, I never stopped to think that she passes by there every day what? on her way from school. Who? Gretchen.
stupid of me not to think of it. How are you? my bike. Oh, look, she's bleeding. Do you have a handkerchief? It doesn't hurt much. Thank God it's only a scratch. What happened, Gretchen? I stopped to look at the castle, and I hurt myself when I... Yes? I tried to, to jump on my bike. Well, thank goodness, that's all. I saw the bushes move, because the ghost was there. <laughs> look, Doctor, Mr. Becker is there all by himself. Don't you think we should warn him of this? I appreciate your concern, Dr. Hummel, and I respect your opinion. Oh, I do think it's a bit far-fetched. I'm afraid Ava can't consider it far-fetched. Well, I understand your apprehensions. Uh, in view of the strange things she appears to have seen, strange enough to cause her to leave my employment, I hope this talk isn't going to give this young lady nightmares. She's my daughter, Gretchen. Hello, Gretchen. <laughs> Lovely child. Oh, I am very happy to announce that I have completed the restoration of the castle, including a few items that may surprise even you, dear Ava. Why don't you drop by this evening? Well, I don't know, sir. Oh, all of you. <laughs> all well, of thank you, of course. Sir. I promise you won't be disappointed, Dr. Hummel. Thank you. Oh, uh, and do be careful of these mountain roads. As you know, they can be quite treacherous after dark. <laughs> Until the night, then. Mr. Becker is the ghost. What do you mean, darling? I know him anywhere. His eyes burn like fire. All right, Gretchen, that's enough now. Go out and play, huh? Let's go and wash up first. Mm. Then you can go out and play in the garden, huh? Wait a moment. Hmm? What do we really know about Becker? Personally, nothing. Who is he? Where did he come from? Why did he... How is it he suddenly appeared at the auction? And why did he get his money? Well, it's true. His background has a little mystery about it. And another thing, he's the only one who's not afraid to stay by himself in the castle. And then his invitation for tonight was pretty weird. And yet, what about his face? What do you mean? You know, the man who was in my room, who, who chased me all over the castle, he wasn't even human looking. I don't know. If he is the Baron, it's possible that he has the power to change his appearance. But you know, I remember now that when I mentioned the name of Elizabeth Holly for the first time, Habecker looked, well, he looked stricken. If Becker is the Baron, then you must realize how dangerous it is to go to the castle tonight. There are too many unknown quantities to this mystery, and there's no logical procedure to its solution. But well, we can't drop everything right now. Just when, just when it may seem too dangerous to go further, Peter. But, Uncle, we must go. It's the only way we can get the proof. If only we knew what Elizabeth Holly meant when she said we, we had the power to destroy him, huh? Maybe she meant the amulet. The amulet?
Peter, look. What? Up there, that painting. Isn't that the one we saw? On the night of the incantation, exactly. Good evening. Good evening, my dear friend. Please. Please come in. I am really delighted to see you. I was afraid you might have changed your mind. Come. Good evening, Mr. Becker. I'm so glad you could come too, Doctor. Um, Herr Becker? Isn't that Baron von Kleist? Yes. I believe it to be the only true portrait of the Baron in existence. Well, it really seems very odd to me, Herr Becker, that the whole painting was restored except for the face. Artistic integrity, dear Ava. Uh, since no one knows what the Baron actually looked like, would you have a painter give him a face that wasn't truly his own? I understand that he was a sadist and a murderer. And quite probably insane. Sadist? Murderer? Matters of terminology. Insane. Hmm. I rather think not. He was much too clever. But such cleverness goes hand in hand with insanity, don't you think? Uh, you are the scientist, Doctor. But let's not bore these children with clinical analyses. I'd like to show you something more realistic. I excuse me, dear Ava. Now, if you'll all just follow me. Well, what do you think? Did you see that? My God, it's pretty startling. Even for a castle like Schloss's toy is a little much, don't you think? But they seem so lifelike. Anybody would think they were, they were real. A magnificent effect, Herr Becker. If it is just an effect. Oh, Peter. I've restored not only the furniture of the castle, I've tried to recreate the uh, atmosphere, the personality of its original owner. The Baron's will not only dominated this castle, but all the valley below. The people were necessary only for his convenience. <laughs> Those whom he found inconvenient <laughs> Follow me. I'm particularly pleased with the meticulous and exacting restoration of this dungeon. With a little imagination, you should be able to envision the tortures and hear the screams that echo through here. screams in the Baron's day were real. Ours, perhaps. Entertaining? It's disgusting and horrible, and I'd... I'd like to leave, please. It's all very fascinating, but I'm afraid we must be going. May we assist you upstairs? Thank you, no. But please, come back. There are many more things I would like to ask you, Herr Becker. Perhaps you would like to stay. Peter, please. I understand. Let's go. It was a pleasure. Good night. Do come back soon for a longer visit. A much longer visit. Auf Wiedersehen. I'm sure he's the Baron. 
But if he is, why did he let us go? Possibly he's just playing a game. Do you have the amulet? Oh, yes, sir. We've got to try to send his ghost back. But Hurry, but let's we... go. Well, but let's talk to him before sending him back. This opportunity is never going to come again. Think what it would mean to actually speak with someone from the past. Peter, please. Peter, you've unleashed a monster on the world. You must try to send him back. Oh. I am disappointed, Doctor. Is your scientific interest waning? For a man in your position, I would have expected more intellectual curiosity. Baron Otto von Kleist. What a pity. You are Baron von Kleist. That circumstances oblige me to eliminate my only living male descendant. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back to wherever you came from. Go Child. back. Child. Do you think you can destroy me with a trinket? <laughs> 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 Good chat, Doctor. For you. No. No. There'll be no coming no. back. No! <laughs> you shall join the others, the miserable beings who dared to oppose my will. You shall die. No! No! No!
of blood and evil shall be destroyed <gasps> only by those he has himself destroyed. You, his victims, have the power to crush him and make him suffer the agonies of hell. Use it before it's too late! <laughs> Elizabeth Holly, let me taste sweet revenge. Let me please, please, let me cut into his heart. <laughs> 